Hey guys, so I'm going to be doing a story, and because I can't really make this story in Gotcha Club or Gotcha Life, I'm going to be using some of my stuffed animals. This is me, this is Josian, this is a wild Karen, this is her child, and then this is, a, this is ice cream, and this blanket is the ice cream machine. Um... So this story takes place in Golden Crow, one year ago. Um, so, me and my brother, back then, we weren't really good with how far away we should stay away from someone, because we had stayed in the house almost constantly since my mom got COVID during uh, 2020. Or 2021, I can't remember, but, um, we had stayed in the house, mainly because all of us are very anti-social, also because mom goes sick, so, um, this was one of our first times out since then, and we were at Golden Corral. Josiah was too young to get ice cream by himself. So he was with me. And. I put a. I act, my dog put a hole in this. Stuffy. See it right there. So let's just pretend this floof is a. Is the brain. Goodbye. <laughs> she has no brain now. Um. I'm going to put that back in later. Um. So, this child, and me and my brother, and this Karen, were a good amount away from each other, because, um, reasons, and I don't know how far apart I should be without the stickers on the floor that tell me how far apart I should be. So, I just stayed, like, probably four feet apart from this Karen, and she turns around while I wasn't even bothering her small child. Who was like younger than me and Josian, and said, "You need to stay six feet apart." And I'm like, in my brain, okay. And so we step back, stuff these. Please don't fall off the edge of my bed. I don't want to have to pick you up. Um. So now we're about like this far apart, <laughs> even farther. Okay. And, while her son is still getting ice cream, she turns around again. She says, stay six feet apart. I'm like, okay. Okay, the, we're just going to pretend that they... <clears throat> we're just going to pretend that they... That the, the stuffed animals moved backwards. Don't pay attention to the mess on my floor. Um, and so... Um, we are still a considerable distance away. And she just turns around. In a very angry voice, she says, You know what? If you don't know how to stay six feet apart, you can just get ice cream. And she moves out of the way with her child. Me being like, <laughs> Okay, I just realized I threw these too, oh, frick, too far. Um, <laughs> One second, I have to pick them up. Me and Josiah, we're just like, no, we're fine. And I forgot to mention, Josiah was actually behind me, so I kind of moved them around. And she's like, no, no, you can, you can get your ice cream. <laughs> that sounded so much like what she said. <laughs> so I'm just like, okay. And me and my brother step up, we get our ice cream, and I move over to the toppings. We're going to pretend the stuffing is the toppings now. And Josiah's getting his ice cream. Well, Josiah has his ice cream, and he's waiting next to me. The Karen comes direct up to me, gets, gets in my face, and says, I told you, stay six feet apart. And I'm like, the toppings are a few inches apart. I never actually said that. I am way too antisocial to talk to anyone. I'm just like... <laughs> because when someone does that, comes right up in my face... Like, I'm just, like, 
my flight or fight instincts kick in. And I'm just like breathing really fast now because of my problems. And I just quickly grab the last of my toppings and like speed away with Josian. Okay, I have to put the stuffing back in. And apparently that's something that can happen when you meet a wild Karen. She has no respect, even if you're a small child or just an 11 year old girl with her little brother. So, I told this story to my mom's boyfriend and my brother Elijah because those were the people we would. Well, I'm always with Elijah because we're siblings and we get along quite well. And then, um, our mom was at work during that time because she had gotten better and got back to work. So, or she was still sick and we had just gone out to eat because she didn't feel like coming. I don't know. But I do know that he was there watching us. But, yeah. Yeah. Hopefully my first and last experience of meeting a wild Karen. So, um, please tell me what you would do in this situation. In the comments. Bye.